Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been free from their royal duties for nearly a year after they made their historic decision to step down as senior members of the royal family. But they might have to make a return trip across the pond in the near future. If safe to travel amid the COVID-19 pandemic restrictions, the royal family is said to have some big events coming in the next few months, including trooping the color. The public celebration of Queen Elizabeth's birthday that takes place in June, where the royal family all gather on Buckingham Palace balcony. Due to COVID-19, last summer's celebration was scaled back and moved to Windsor Castle. But the Sunday Times recently reported that the famous family is planning to, quote, go ahead in London as normal. Quote, the current plan is for the Queen's birthday parade to go in London as normal, with the acceptance that it may need to be adapted or scaled back depending on what guidelines are in force at the time. But the aspiration and the ultimate desire is to make it happen, a royal aide told the publication, which could mean that Meghan and Harry might return to mark the occasion. And that's not the only royal that Meghan and Harry might attend. A royal insider recently told People magazine that Harry is also expected to take part in the 100th birthday celebrations of his grandfather, Prince Philip, which is set to take place only a few days after this year's Trooping at the Color. And Harry and Meghan are likely to visit the UK in conjunction with the 2021 Invictus Games, which are planned from May 29th to June 5th in the Netherlands. Despite a few possible return trips to the UK, it has been reported that the Duke and Duchess are loving their new life in California with their son Archie. Daily Mail's Charlie Langston claims that Meghan and Harry don't regret their decision to step down as senior members. Recently telling Access Hollywood that while they've had some challenges this past year, the positives outweigh the negatives. I think Harry and Meghan would say that it was definitely the right decision for them to leave the royal family. They did it for such a huge number of reasons, but their primary focus was to make sure that their son Archie could lead a life where he wasn't being hounded by the media, by adoring fans of the royal family, and so he could enjoy a little bit more privacy. Harry grew up as a senior member of the royal family. He knows the scrutiny that the royals are under day in, day out. And he obviously experienced a really difficult time in the public eye after his mother Diana passed away. And that's something that he never wanted Archie to experience. So I think that when it comes to that, the two of them would absolutely say that it was a good decision for them to leave the UK and indeed the royal family. However, it hasn't been an easy road for either of them. You have to keep in mind that Harry has moved away from a life that he has only ever known. He's also moved away from his family, his closest friends, and he's now living in a city where he doesn't really have any roots or any close confidence. And that really can't be an easy thing. Similarly, Meghan has kind of had to dip into the royal family, try to get used to that life, and then dip back out again and forge a completely new lifestyle with her husband and her son, having gone from being an actress to a royal, and now to someone who's trying to become an activist and also a charity founder, and that's no easy task. So yes, overall, I think the couple would both agree that they made the right decision, but I think both of them would be very quick to say it hasn't been the easiest one.